physics simulation, this should be pretty quick. Uh, it's a really easy to use feature and I'll give you guys an idea of what's happening. So here's our cold brew coffee bottle. You can get that from the cloud library. Uh, everything in this one I've got, I've grabbed from the cloud library, including the coffee beans. And basically we just want these coffee beans that are up top to drop down over here. As you can see, there's no funnel. This shouldn't take very long to calculate because uh, it doesn't have to go through a lot of collisions until it actually makes impact with that uh, that bottle. So there's our bottle, we're gonna set it up. If I go up here to my tools, It'll open up my geometry tools, and that's where you're gonna find your physics simulation. With the physics simulation clicked, you have your physics simulation window, which pops up. And you know from the, the slides, you'll recognize the different areas, your settings, your uh, scene tree, and then your animation timeline down here. Again, best practices, you wanna click on the models that you're gonna actually want to animate. And then you also want them to be at the start point of your animation so that they can kind of progress through the entire thing. I'm gonna go ahead and change the maximum simulation time to three. I, I know that that's about all this needs to, to go through. Again, if you don't, it might be better for you to leave it at zero. And then once you hit this begin simulation button, while it's simulating, if you see it progress to a point where you're happy with it, this becomes a stop simulation button and you can click that whenever you want it to stop and then it'll populate your animation timeline with whatever's been calculated at that point. In this case, I'm leaving pretty much every other setting at, at its default. Uh, you could change that to 60 frames like I, I mentioned if you want to have uh, more frames to be able to pull stills from. Simulation quality is fine, gravity is normal, friction is normal. I am going to hit as parts. If I were not to hit as parts, basically these little planes of coffee beans are going to drop as a solid plane, and then they're going to hit the top of that, that coffee uh, bottle, and they're going to just kind of teeter-totter. So we really want to make sure that as parts is checked so the individual components of this, this uh, uh, model actually fall off and scatter over the actual table. So I have my as parts checked. I have my settings set. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to begin my simulation. As you can see, there's a uh, loading icon at the top here letting you know it's working. And you can see that the uh, simulation is kind of progressing and you're getting a preview of what that's going to look like. Obviously, it's slowed down right now. And that's because it's it's this is the first time in that drop that it's starting to calculate collisions and, and try to really understand what's going on. Um, so that that's what I was talking about, about really thinking through your scenes and trying to minimize those collisions as much as possible, if you can, while still keeping it look realistic. So as you can see, things are falling. We have a nice little uh, bit of coffee beans that are settled up there, and these are starting to scatter over the surface. Now, if I had it set to zero up here and I didn't particularly you know, want to wait too long and this seemed pretty normal to me, I could hit my stop simulation at any point and then that'll uh, progress to the point that it's actually simulated and populated out here. You have your physics simulation folder here. That'll create a yellow uh, task bar along your timeline. And then they'll, you'll also get a plus and minus sign uh, that lets you open up your physics simulation folder. And then you'll see each individual coffee beans uh, keyframes in there. So it should be done here in a second. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop simulation. And then you can see that now I can scrub through and I can preview the simulation that's occurred. So I like this. I think it's good. I'm ready to render. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I've populated down here. And just quickly, when I hit that plus, you can see all the different coffee beans and their, their keyframes there. So at this point, uh, I'm ready to render if I want to render. Or I can find a spot that I like for a still image. You know, Maybe that's the spot right there, maybe one over. And uh, I can also add motion blur. So if I want to get kind of the I, this captured moment of motion for a still image, this is another great way to go about doing that. So physics simulation is just a really useful tool. Like I said, I think pretty much any industry can use this if they're trying to create something really dynamic. <laughs>